Yeah, come on in. Can I help you? Uh, my son, Lamont Savage, his friend came down here and he left this with me in case I want to come down here and get in the movie, too. Oh, you must mean those two guys that just got here. Mm. Yeah, wait a minute. Let's sit down. Hello, Don. Uh, can you come in here a minute? So, uh, you want to be in pictures, huh? Yes. You ever done any acting? Well, I played Santa Claus in a pageant back in St. Louis. <laughs> No fooling. Yeah, I still remember some of the words. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a rat. Isn't that mouse? Rat, this pageant was in the ghetto. <laughs> oh, uh, Don, this gentleman here would uh, like to work in pictures with us. Uh, Don's our director. Oh, director, what do you think? I think we could find a place for him. Uh, let me see. The harem scene. Wouldn't he be delicious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thinking, Don. Good thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good thinking, Don. It's good. Wait, what am I supposed to do now? Well, you're supposed to go right through that door there and relax with your son and his friend, and we'll be right with you. Okay. Hey, listen. You, you want me to shave my beard off? I'll shave my beard off if you want me to. No, no, no. You're absolutely perfect just the way you are. I am, ain't I? <laughs> well, look who's here. Rock and Tab. <laughs> oh, no. What are you doing here? Did you follow us? No, the man said that he could definitely use me and that I was perfect. And you know, that director said, I was delicious. <laughs> you know, I think that director is. <laughs> Say, Rollo, come here, man. Hey, what? Hey, what kind of movie can this be if they're going to use him? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe they're just going to use him for the crowd scene. <laughs> uh, all right, gentlemen. Uh, Don, let's go. Yes, now, gentlemen, would you kindly undress down to your shorts? Oh, yeah, oh, sure. sure. <laughs> Did you say you must to get undressed? Uh, maybe so, uh, just for our costumes, right, Jack? Oh, I'm sorry you haven't even seen the script yet. You see, it's basically skeletal. We do a lot of improvisations. Uh, why don't you take a look at the script yourself? Oh, yeah, that's Movie. I ain't no nudie. Oh, already here. What do you got to lose? You're gonna lose about 19 of your teeth and you don't shut up. Come on, Pop, forget it. Come on, Pop, just forget it. Oh, I'm sorry, anybody move. You're all under arrest. Wait a, wait a minute, officer. What's the charge? The charge? The charge is taking part in the pornographic movie. What? Come on, out, move it. You two, let's go. Oh. Join you, Elizabeth. You hear that? But shut your eyes, honey. It's a nudie rap. Come here and help me unload this truck, you old faker. Faker? That's right. Old faker, you just don't know. You don't know where I've been. I don't understand you kids today. If I'd have talked to my father the way you talked to me, you know what he'd have done? Yeah, he'd have given you one across the lips. That's right. And continue on down from there. <laughs> he whipped, he whipped from the lips to the hip. <laughs> And you think that's the answer, huh? Well, it might not be the answer, but it sure wasn't no question when he finished. <laughs> Pop, the kids today don't want to hear nonsense. Now, they want the truth. You know, the truth shall set you free. 
Yeah. Your Uncle Edgar thought the same thing. Truth was set him free. And he told the truth, and the judge gave him six months. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think I'm having a heart attack. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. <laughs> and your dummy son, he brought me a wooden overcoat. What's the matter with you? Them coffins, ain't they? Of course they're coffins, but they can't hurt you, Pop. Listen, come over here. Don't bother me. Would you come Don't over here? Don't touch me. I'm not doing anything. Would no. you just take it easy? I, listen, now, listen, listen. There's nobody in here. Listen. Anybody in there? No. Don't do that. <laughs> haven't, haven't you ever seen coffins before? Yeah, but not in my own backyard. Get them out of here. I paid $25 for these. I don't care what you paid for them. Get them out of here. Would you listen to me, Pop? Now, we can make ourselves a nice little profit on these things. I bought them at an auction. Now, nobody else would bid on them. Nobody would bid on them but an undertaker and a dummy. <laughs> now, you ain't no undertaker. <laughs> would you stop that and start thinking like a businessman? Now, I'm telling you, Pop, we can make 100% profit on these things. So what's wrong with them? I don't know, maybe they last year's model. <laughs> you know, coffins are like bathtubs, Pop. They never go out of style. I don't like bathtubs. I'd take a shower. Let's get them out of here. Would you listen to me, Pop? Now, we all have to go sometime. Now, somebody's gonna need these coffins, and they'll come and take them off our hands. Well, I hope if they need them, they come and take them before they need them. <laughs> and that's when we'll make ourselves a nice little profit on the deal, okay? Okay. But they ain't staying out in the yard. Of course not. They're going in the house. What? <laughs> well, you don't think I'm gonna leave them out here, do you? They'll get ruined out here. Well, they ain't going in the house. Well, they're not staying out here. And they ain't going in the house. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, no, they're not. Over my dead body. <laughs> well, that's one sale we got. <laughs> Which one do you want? I think they're both the same size. And they're a good color, Pop. Brown will go with anything. And so will this brown go with anything. <laughs> Don't you grab the other end when I slide this out, okay? <laughs> you know, you get more ridiculous by the minute. Now, listen. Now, this is what we're gonna do. Now, I'll lift a piano, and all you have to do is get underneath it and pull out the carpet. You can't lift no piano. I can lift it long enough for you to pull out the carpet. Now, just get down there. Is that asking too much? No, no, well, okay. just get down there, and I'll lift up the piano. Okay, you lift it up, and I'll pull the rug out. Oh, no, don't let him do that. What? Don't let him make you lift that heavy piano. Why, that's ridiculous. Here, have some brandy. I bet you can use it. I sure can. Thank you. <laughs> Here's to you, son. Uh, listen, you better cut that out. Now, you just better cut it out. Now, you're trying to make me look like a heel. What'd I do? It's what you've been doing ever since we came in here. Now, you've been lying and snooping around and trying to make me out to be a rat. Now, I want you to stop it. I didn't do nothing you like that. You always do this every I'll time. I got that. the piano. Oh, what's, what's going, going on? on? Always... What's he doing to you? Is he threatening you? No, everything's all right. No, it's not all right. You know, I don't like the way you treat your father. In fact, I don't like your attitude. I think you better go. I'm going to get somebody else. No, wait a minute. Don't do that now. Wait a minute. He, he just loses his temper every now and then, but he don't mean it, see? And besides, we need the job. Oh. Well, all right, for your sake. I'm doing it for his sake only. You don't realize what a nice old gentleman your father is. <laughs> he served in the army. He worked hard. Why, he was even wounded at the front. Yeah, and in his stomach. <laughs> well, if you need anything, you just call me. Listen, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to say nothing to you. Not Lamont. Look, I don't want to hear it. Just move this piano. Listen, just move out of the way, and I'll do it myself. See, if you want to take on a job, that's it. Lift it on this end and kick it with your foot. No, come on, kick it. Now you go. Now move right over here somewhere. That's it, son. It's not too heavy. Just lift it right on up there and kick it with your left. No, push down when you kick it. Now get that one. There you go. Now, when you get this one over here, I'll pull the rug out. There you go. Got it? Easy now, don't drop it. There you go. <laughs> I wonder why he didn't come in then. He always comes in there when it looks like you're doing all the work. Well, what are we gonna do now? Well, as soon as I rest a little bit, we're gonna push it over there by the door. Cause it'll roll now. It'll roll? Yeah. Well, let me see if it'll roll. 
should be easier if it roll. Oh, yeah, that's much nicer. I can almost do this by myself. <laughs> Well, you did it again. Did what? what Nothing. Did? Just let me help this get over to the door. <laughs> we ain't gonna never get this piano through the door. It'll get through there. How do you think they got it in here? You think they built the apartment around it? Why, why'd they rub there? Now, listen, anything that goes up comes down. Anything that goes in goes out. Now, that's the first rule of physics. The first rule of physics. That's right. You don't know that much. Wait a minute. See that one? <laughs> and the second rule of physics is stuck. I didn't mean to try to get it through this way. Listen, pull it back. Push it. I meant to bring it over here, turn it on its side, and get it through sideways. I told you once before, I ain't lifting this piano. You don't have to lift it, Pop. You just come over here, turn it on the side, and we'll wiggle it through. Okay, but... Well, you're certainly taking a long time getting this out of here. Yes, we're certainly taking a long time getting this out of here. Well, if I'd known you were going to take that long, I wouldn't have... Oh. Hello. Oh, hello, darling. Uh, no, I can't talk very long. I have some people here, and they're moving Sylvia's piano out. Oh, what? Well, 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 you wiggle it over there. That'll, that'll be the last of Sylvia. To tell you to get the piano over here. What she ever needed a piano for, I'll never know. She never got past chopsticks. Twist it. Now turn it. Now wiggle it. Now, now push it. Now wait. Look, look, Mama. Now, now push it and wiggle it and twist it. Now what I'm gonna do next? The funky chicken? Lazy lady river. Gee whiz, this is all the most valuable stuff. Porcelain. Oh, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> it, it was an accident, Lamont. Honest, it was an accident. That's the kind of thing that happened when you got arthritis. <laughs> Honest, it was an accident. You believe me, don't you, son? You don't believe me? <laughs> You, you, you don't believe me? You don't believe me? No, you don't believe me. Would you believe a robbery? Yeah, yeah. You believe a robbery. I know you believe a robbery. Everything is 
take it easy. Uh, here. Now drink this pop and tell me what happened. You were robbed. You were robbed. See, I was in the kitchen fixing your supper. I was fixing some asparagus and pinto bean. And I heard this noise. So I came out and they jumped me. I did the best I could, Lamont. But you know, it was hard for me to make a fist with this arthritis. <laughs> and, and they just, they robbed us. We were robbed. Oh. My collection. My porcelain and glass collection. They took it. Yeah, I tried to stop them. I said, hey, don't take that. That's my son, porcelain and glass collection. <laughs> and it's fragile and valuable. What'd you have to tell him that for? I didn't have to tell him nothing. He had a sign in there saying, fragile and valuable. <laughs> One of the guys read it. He said, oh, let's take this fragile and valuable collection. <laughs> I tried to stop him, but they took it. Say, hey, Pop, wasn't there something you could have done? I mean, you, couldn't you have done something, Pop? What could I do? It was four of them. Four white men with <laughs> stockings <laughs> over their heads. <laughs> They had stockings over their heads? Yeah. Are you sure they were white, Pop? I know they wasn't black. <laughs> you can't get no stocking over one of them big natural. Good evening, gentlemen. Now, come right in. Mission $1. Uh, get the money, Lamont. Uh, that's it. Look around, fellas. Look around. Everything, everything's fine. Uh, admission is $1. Uh, payable in one big soft one, or a whole lot of little hard ones. <laughs> what they trying to do, crash the party? Where's my baseball bat? Hey, wait a minute, Pop. Now, wait a minute. Now, don't start nothing with those guys. They look kind of big. I don't care how big they are. They trying to crash the party, nobody crashes but me. And I think I'll start with their scubs. <laughs> Say, uh, pardon me, gentlemen. Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. I said it's a dollar per head. Or uh, would you rather me make that one baseball bat per scub? <laughs> you in charge here? You the owner? Yeah, I'm also the owner of a baseball bat. Look, can we go someplace where it's quiet where we can talk? It's a little too noisy in here. Is that? Look, we've had our talk, and the next noise you hear will be the rat-a-tat-tat of my baseball bat on your school. How about in here, huh? Come on. Hey, man, what are you pushing on me for? Don't be pushing on the on me. Get Look out, man, you can mess my suit up. All right, Owen, come on. Come on, now, sit down there. Listen, what, what, what is this? What is wrong with you guys? Listen, if you're not out of here by the time I come to three, you're gonna be sorry. One, two, three. Uh, okay, I'm gonna count to ten. One. Sit down. You heard the man, sit down. Say, who are you guys? What do you want? All right, we'll put it to you straight. We wanna be your partners. Well, ain't but two people in this junk business, me and my son. We're not talking about the junk business. We're talking about the party business. Huh? Look, you got a good thing going here. And what we propose to you is that you use the junk business in front as a dodge, you understand? While a party is going on inside. We have drinking, gambling, fun, you understand? Fun! No, you fellas don't understand, see? This party is just for the night. We're trying to raise a little money. I know, but I say, why stop? Keep it going, that way we make lots of money. Keep it going? Yeah, yeah, continuously, 24 hours a day. With you as the host. Oh, I can't do that. I'm 65 years old, that'll kill me. <laughs> and then we'll just have to get another host. No, listen, just forget about it. I ain't interested. What are you fellas, gangsters? <laughs> Yo, happy gangsters, ain't you? Now, here's the deal, partner. You see, we offer you our protection, you know, just to make sure nothing bad happens. You can't open up no place here. You know what I mean? Not like that. You got to have a license. A license? Show them the license. <laughs> you in business. <laughs> Good. But listen, I ain't never been in no trouble with the law before, and this sounds like trouble. Trouble? Why? Why? We take care of everything. Your nose is clean. Yeah, my nose is clean, but the rest of my body gonna need a bath. <laughs> What's this? What's going on in here? He'll explain it all to you. Right, partner? What are you talking about, partner? Well, we're going into the party business together. You see, you got a good thing going here. But we're gonna make it even better. Listen, we don't want no partner, so you can just clear out of here right now because nobody's afraid. 
Hello, partners. All right, we'll see you guys later and keep the party going. Come on. Hey, Pop, who were those guys? They're, they're gangsters. They want to turn this place into a drinking and gambling joint. But that's ridiculous. We can't do that. But, but I'm afraid we're going to have to, son. Remember? They made us an offer. We can't refuse. <laughs>